Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today's vlog is very special and informative. I'll be teaching you something that you never knew you needed in your life. This is not something that the teachers would teach you at school because I'll be teaching you how to speak like a Batanggenyo. I just figured that this is something very fun to learn kasi andam kasing tao na nag-iisip na porque taga Batangas ka, kung magsalita ka dapat may alae. Ni naman lahat ng taga Batangas ganun. Siguro may ilan na ganun kalakas yung accent nila pero hindi naman lahat. Pag pumunta ka sa Batangas, hindi lahat ng tao ganun magsalita. Alae, alae, hindi ganun. Kala nyo lang yun. Tsaka disclaimer lang guys, hindi talaga ako tubong Batangas pero taga Quezon Province ako. At yung accent namin doon ay hindi nalalayo sa mga taga Batangas. Dahil ang Quezon Province at ang Batangas ay magkapitbahay lang. So yung accent namin, sobrang katulad na katulad lang ng mga taga Batangas. So let's start. So if you wanna learn how to speak like a Batanggenyo, there are some expressions that you should know by heart. The first expression would be eh eh this expression is very useful in your everyday life because it conveys a lot of meanings depending on the tone of your voice it could mean sadness eh it could also mean shock or disbelief eh you could just use it on your everyday conversation for example eh maniwala ako sa iyo or ginalingan mo naman masyado eh Number two, anla, anla. This is also an expression of disbelief. It goes very well with the expression, eh? For example, anla ay bakit? Ay ka, bata, bata, pa noon eh? Anla ay nabuntis? Ay nag-aaral pa yun eh? So there you go. Anla, anla eh? Number three, ga, ga. In our province, we don't use ba for ano ba. We don't have that. Instead, we use ga. For example, Alay, nasaan ga? Hindi ko naman makita. Or instead of saying, Ano ka ba naman? We say, Ano ka ga naman? Ikaw gay ulaga. Ga. Number four, Are, are. This is an expression used to point to things that are near you. In simple Tagalog, it means ito. For example, Are o? Oh, abay katabi mo na, ni mo pa makita. Tutuklawin ka na. So again, are instead of ito. It really brings the spirit of a batang you whenever you're speaking. Number five, Garine instead of ganito. Gayon instead of ganun. And gayan instead of ganyan. For example, Ala, ay gayon pala. Ay akala ko na may garne. Di ako'y mali. Gayon na lamang ating gawin. Garine, gayon, gayan. In our province, we don't use naiinis. We use nababarino. For example, Alay, kay lumayas pa nababarino sa iyong pagmumuka. Like that. Instead of lang, we use laang, laang. For example, Ala, isasama ka pag ay ako na laang. Biyabit pa kita eh. Laang. Whenever you use command words, you should change the last two letters of the word into e, like e. For example, buksan becomes bukse, palitan becomes palite, tingnan becomes tingne, and lagyan becomes lagye. Let's use it in a sentence. Inay, narinin na ho ako. Buksayo ang pinto. Or, lay, sira na. Abay, palite. Or, ano ko naman kape? Aray, walang kalasa-lasay. Lagyan na asukal. And, ay tingni na maigi kay mama lagmalag. Buksay, palite, lagye, tingne. Kainama na. Kainama na. I'm not really sure how to translate this, but this is to show an intense feeling and it really goes well with Diyos ko po rude. Diyos ko po rude. Diyos ko po is like Diyos ko po. Diyos ko po rude. 
And Rude is uh, someone we don't know. Someone we got from the air and like Rude. That's it. Just ko po Rude. For example, kay naman ari anak ni Kapiling, inapakachismosa, eh kaya ngay ingay pa. Just ko po Rude. Kay naman na, and just ko po Rude. And there you go. Generally, Batangenos speak in a very loud manner that people around them tend to think that they are always mad. But that is not the case. It's just because us Batangenos want to emphasize all the words we use in our sentences. So let's put these basic lessons into practice. Ala, ay kainaman man po aring batang are. Ay sayang po naman. Ay pagkakagaling sa eskwela. Ay nabuntis la ah. Apo ay garni pala naman na ugali. Ay tunay namang pagkakahitad nga naman pala. Ay kaya gay una lamang ang napapala. Ay sus ko po rude. Ay ako'y nababarino sa mga gayaan. Ay puyadong yay pinagkukonsintilaang ng mga magulang. Kung bakit ba gay pinapalabas pa ng bahay? Bakit ba gayang dinalaang bantay doon sa bahay ng maigi? Yun lang ang aking masasabi. Ay ako'y himatayin sa mga gayaan. And there you go! Thank you so much for watching this very nonsense video. <laughs> and I hope you learned something from me today. I said that this is very informative, but I really know it's not. So I'm really sorry for wasting your time, but I hope you learned the basic expressions of Batangueños. And please subscribe on our channel. Click the bell button to be notified when we have new videos on our channel. Thank you so much. See you on our next vlog.